Palm Beach Synagogue has been really extraordinarily blessed. Uh, we came here in 1994. We had a dream of just having a, a, a little minion, and no one ever dreamt. Only Hashem knew how great this institution would become. The Palm Beach Synagogue is much more than a house of prayer. We have a remarkable plethora of activities for every age group, starting with toddlers, imbuing in them a sense of, of the beauty of Judaism, a Talmud Torah that is so well attended that children come from other synagogues to attend our Talmud Torah because it is so outstanding. And then we have programs for teens and we have programs for the elderly and it's just non-stop. And all of these programs are an extension of this synagogue. <laughs> teenagers and learning at our Maimonides Leadership Institute every Sunday, the teens ask all different kinds of questions. And I remember when one of our teenagers, David, came asking how to deal with anti-Semitism in high schools. A few months ago, I think it was October, actually the first day I started wearing CT, ironically, I, I got a call from from someone, I didn't know the number. So me being me, decided to answer it for whatever reason. And it was someone who I knew. And they said, David, uh, come outside. And so I'm like, okay, doesn't sound terrible. It sounds harmless. I go outside and uh, there's five or six kids. One girl decides to come up to me, I'm so-and-so, I'm German. And then does a Hail Hitler to me. And our view and our take, of course, is telling the teenagers to be even more proud, not to bend over, not to feel bad, not to be bashful, but to be even more proud as a Jew. Rabbi Yosef, he came out with his normal energy, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's why I'm here. And um, made me remember that, like, yeah, there's gonna be anti-Semites in the world, yeah, there's gonna be people who are gonna hate me, pick on me, whatever but I still have a community to go to home to. And, you know, that's what matters. This is not just an institution or a place where I feel like I write my check for my dues every year, but, you know, the rabbi and Dini and, and everybody else that's a part of this synagogue are family. You know, I just found out our synagogue is 500 members, but you would never, I was so surprised to hear that because you would never know that from the relationship each and every member here has with, with Rabbi Shiner and with Dini and with each other because it feels so much smaller. So I think I, I think the first time I came here was with a friend of mine who belonged here. And I was just blown away uh, by, his ser by his sermon. It was so inclusive and so warm and so emotional in a way. Dini planned an amazing trip to Charleston with 30 of our women. We traveled together, we laughed, we bonded, we tapped into our Jewish heritage, and those are memories that will last a lifetime. And we are forever thankful and blessed to have such an amazing Rebbitzin. Well, my, my brother and his, his wife got engaged several years ago. They, they, they had their uh, engagement party um, in Hollywood, where she's from. And my brother, I think, like, WhatsApp the rabbi, like, oh, we're so excited to share the news. My rabbi and I are, I think, got engaged, and we're having, like, a small engagement party at her parents' house. And, like, that was it. And then in walks the rabbi, like Rabbi Shiner schlepped from Palm Beach Island all the way down to Hollywood, which is what, like an hour drive. And I think it was during rush hour, so it's had to have been more. And he just like walks in through the door as if like, and we were floored, like absolutely floored that he would come. I mean, and it's because he cared so much. It was as if like one of his family members was getting engaged. He, he wouldn't miss it. And that's so special, I, I, it's so special. And, 
I love this place with all my heart and soul. <laughs> so what has been accomplished here and um, the warm welcome that, com that has come with it along the way, I think is, is proof of the contribution that this synagogue makes to the island. I believe that the greatest growth is yet to come. As great as we've gone, we have so much more room for potential and for growth. And now with the expansion of our synagogue, the sky's the limit.